Hi all, welcome back to another video. On this video, we are going to discuss some questions based on NMMS examination, National Means Kammer Scholarship Examination. Over this, on this video, we are discussing the physics questions. I think you have to go through the questions and the options. After that, you have to find the answers. Okay, so moving on to the question. So this is a series of questions number 19 physics the rocket was launched upwards to place a satellite in its orbit the force on the rocket immediately after leaving the launch stage is called dash the rocket was launched upwards from the earth to place a satellite in its orbit okay that's it the force on the rocket immediately after leaving the launch stage what is called 1. It's gravitational force 2. Releasing force of gases emitted by burning of fuels 3. Both 1 and 2 4. None of the above Which is the right answer? Yes, both 1 and 2 are correct so option 3 is right then next suppose you are cycling from north to south with a speed of 10 meter per second this is not a mathematical question but sad question if your friend pushes in the same direction your speed increases it is clear in this what is that option correct for this question moving on to the options look at the options 1. Force keeps the motion of the object the same 2. Force can change the speed of an object 3. Force cannot change the speed of an object and 4. All of the above are the correct answers which is the right option for the Question number 20. Yeah, right. Option number 2. Force can change the speed of an object. Force can change the speed of an object. It is the right answer. Then, 21. Force. Okay. You have to complete the thing. 1. Force can change the shape of an object. Force can change the speed of the object. 3. Force can change the direction of the object. 4. All of the above are the right answers. I think it's a simple question. Everything is correct statement. Force can change the shape of an object, change the speed of an object, and it can change the direction of object. So all the 1, 2, 3 are correct. So the option 4 is right. Then, next one, 22, which of the following statements about friction is correct? So, here on this part, we are discussing about friction, a force like that. Okay, gravitational force, etc. Which of the following statements about friction is correct? One, heat is generated by friction. You know what is friction? Heat is generated by friction. Friction depends on the adhesiveness of the pages. 3. The friction is reduced by sprinkling powder on the caroms board. 4. All of above statements are correct. I think it's a, a thing from our daily life situations. I think we have already learned it. So what is correct about friction? Yes, all the above statements are correct. Heat is generated by friction and it depends on the adhesiveness of pages and also we are using this situation on the caroms board. Then 23, it's a long thing. 
in which direction does the force of friction act in which direction does the force of friction act one the force of friction acts in the opposite direction from the direction of the force acting on the object here we have to go through the thing what is the in that while reading keep in your mind what is friction and in which direction does the force of friction act then the force of friction acts in the opposite direction from the direction of force acting on the object then two the force of friction acts in the same direction as the force acting on the object same direction then three the force of friction is not related to the direction of the force acting on the object there is no relevance for that for the force of friction acts in all directions from the direction of the force acting on the object okay it is a fourth thing the friction of force acts in the all directions from the direction of the force acting on the object so what is the right answer for that question is yes, we have to discuss the thing is the force of friction acts in the opposite direction from the direction of the force acting on the object this is the thing you have to keep in mind then Uh, another question from the sound section sound can transmitted through what or what medium one only an air or gases two only in solids three only in liquids for all of the above are the answers right answers yes sound can be transmitted through air gases solid liquids and etc okay so the right answer is option 4 then select the false statement from the following it is also from the sound section okay we already learned it one sound cannot transmitted in vacuum then two lower frequency of vibration the higher the pitch noise pollution can cause partial hearing loss The audibility range of the human ear is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz. So here the question is what is the false statement from the options? Yes. The lower frequency of vibration the higher pitch. Okay. The lower frequency of vibration the higher pitch. It is a false statement from the following. Then conductor of electricity is not so you have to complete that one human body to silver three wood and four iron conductor of electricity is not dash which is that right answer yes wood can conduct electricity both human body silver iron can conduct electricity through it or it could be pass through human body silver iron so as a full form what is the full form of led we know we are using in our houses and daily life activities so what is the full form of led one liquid emitting display two light electric diode three light emitting display and four light emitting diode we know l and d are light and diode isn't it yes so the full form of led is light emitting diode okay that is the right answer then observe the picture given below carefully and tell what is this picture represent it's from yes our universe isn't it ha huh? so what is this what this image indicates options orion planetarium 2 saptarshi planetarium 3 snake planetarium and pleiades planetarium so once again look at this picture so this picture indicates what yes option 2 this is indicate subtarshi planetarium 
to Saptarshi Planetarium. Then from which is the planet between Jupiter and the Earth? We are going through the eight planets. So which is the planet between Jupiter and the Earth? Option one Mercury, two Mars, three Saturn, four Uranus. Which is that planet? Yes, Mars is the planet between Jupiter and the Earth. Then next one, when the plastic scale is rubbed in dry hair and brought near the pieces of paper. Okay, this is an experiment that we have done in our classroom. Uh, we know what is that thing. One scale attracts pieces. Two scale repels pieces. The shape of the pieces of paper will change. There will be no change. So, what is the correct answer? Yes, the right answer is we know scale attract pieces. When we wrap the plastic scale in a dry hair and when we brought it in your paper, the scale will attract the pieces of paper. Then, next one. Which of the following measures would you not take to protect yourself from lightning? One, on hearing, you have to read the whole thing. After that, you have to attend the question. On hearing the thunder of lightning, go to any house or building. If there is lightning in your vehicle, then close the windows and doors of the vehicle. If you are in the open during the lightning, then sit down and keep your head between your knees and your hands. 4. We'll take an umbrella outside the house. Okay, which is not a suitable thing to protect yourself from lightning. What is that? Yes, the right thing is option 4. We'll take an umbrella outside the house. We'll take an umbrella outside the house is the not correctly thing it's not a correct measure so I think we are already gone through all the questions you may write it on your notebook and study well for the NMMS examination I think you like this video and hence you have to subscribe to our channel and you have to share this your class group so friends thank you for watching this video